jamming where comedy and music are wed together in the strangest ceremony since Lisa Minnelli married David Guest. <laughs> yes, I'm Roland Riveron and these are my drums. On the bass, a man who taught Coldplay everything they knew about Doctor Who, Star Wars and Noggin the Knock, Mitch Benn. Fingers have tickled more ivory than a Randy Zookeeper. On guitar, Richard Brown. Okay, take it down, guys. Take it down. Shush, shush. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. And on keyboards, a man whose versatility means he can compose for great comedy and awful tragedy. That's right. He was Glenn Ponder to Steve Scoogan, but then musical director to Brian's Connolly, Steve Brown. OK, down again, guys, down again. Nice and quiet. And joining us this week on guitar, vocals and his own space hopper. Yes, it's the king of Scottish pop. Edwin Collins! Yes, in the words of Mott the Hoople's all the way from Memphis, it's a mighty long way from rock and roll, and if we're not careful, we could be as well. <laughs> but I don't think so, because tonight um, we've got such an array of musical talent in our shop window. Our first guest has reached a pinnacle undreamt of in the world of music. One of his songs was played on the jukebox in the Home and Away Diner. <laughs> a man not wishing to be rushed. His first hit, Rip It Up, stormed the charts in 1983 and was soon followed by A Girl Like You in 1995. <laughs> I'm not alone when I say he is... The oh, I am alone, actually, aren't I, when I say this? <laughs> so, I am alone when I say this. He is the king of Scottish pop. He is Edwin Collins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> is that true? Were you on Home and Away, albeit on vinyl? Yeah, yeah, we were, yeah. I was thrilled. Were you? I never miss an episode. No, but honestly, were you sitting at home thinking, oh, when's <laughs> this show going to pick... Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> no, I often have that experience. It's, uh, it's thrilling. Am I right in thinking that it's, it's cropped up on um, Full Throttle, Charlie's Angel 2? It has, yeah. Are you happy about that? Well, why not? It, it, you know, it brings in the bacon. You're being paid in bacon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. the expression is bring, brings home the bacon. Do we, should we give it a go? Can we, yeah. Go, just to remind ourselves. Yeah. One, two, one, two. I've never known a girl like you before. Now, just like in a song from days of yore. Come and knock and knock and on my door And I've never met a girl like you Right, my next guest has worked with so many comedians, he's almost lost count of the number of ideas that have been stolen and how frequently he's gone unpaid. <laughs> he's also appeared in front of the camera, most famously as Glenn Ponder on Knowing Me, Knowing You, perhaps the most believably banal daytime TV creation since Philip Schofield. 
His classical training means that he can tease out a rainbow of emotions. I certainly remember the first time I heard his breathtaking composition, Wonky Donkey. <laughs> the first time a piece of music, in fact, had brought a warm lump to the back of my pants. <laughs> it is, of course, Mr Steve Brown. Thank you very much. Steve, um, we can't go on until we've heard a bit of Wonky Donkey, just to, uh, A, refresh our memories, B, just to take us back to when we were children, and C, <laughs> for me, because I've never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a thing, it's used on this uh, programme, uh, SMTV Live, which... <laughs> oh, Ant or Deck are here, I'm not quite sure which one. <laughs> God, that's 20 years in the business, that's never happened to me. <laughs> OK, yeah, and so they have a, there's a little jingle in it. And uh, I. Bonky donkey! Bonky donkey! Everybody feel free to join bonky in! Bonky donkey! Everybody! Bonky donkey! Bonky donkey! Bonky donkey! It's good, I get paid for it! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Stop with your wonky and your donkey! Oh, no, don't, don't tap that Thank now. You. Thank you. Let me just come clean. I didn't actually write the lyrics. Oh, no. <laughs> Leave that to someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> a backing band is frequently forced to perform in karaoke bars. Not wishing to demean myself, I've taken the slightly safer route and rehired these guys. Please welcome Richard Branch and Mitch Ben. <laughs> now, Richard, you've got a keen eye for a bargain, and I reckon that job lot of Rick Waller food aprons you bought will go up in price eventually. <laughs> so what musical bargains have you brought for us today? We're going to hear uh, a song played in on the gramophone, uh, All Saints, doing Never Ever. And we are going to sing, all together, the fantastic traditional song, Amazing Grace. And you can do them at the same time, so we'll get two songs for the price of one, saving the BBC money. Try singing pure and simple, my hearsay, over that. Yeah. It's probably the only way you're likely to hear it again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, now, you're a big fan of uh, science fiction, uh -huh. so much so that Sylvester McCoy has a restraining order against you. Um, but what baseline from the past, or indeed the future, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, have you got for us today? See what you reckon of this. Right, basically, what's going to happen, guys? Edwin, Steve, we've got to try and work out what this is the baseline to. Please feel free to offer up any suggestions that you have. OK, Edwin, have you got any ideas? I know what it is. You do? Yeah. It's okay. Sex Bomb hey? by Tom Jones. Yeah. Now you go. No, right, oh, that's the wrong key. You need to take it to right, take for it my crappy vocals. That's good. Now you got the secret code I use to wash away my lonely blues. So I can't deny a lie, cause you're the only one to make me fly. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. You can give it to me when I need to come along. Sex bomb. Is it that? Is it that? Mick, stop. Is it that? Is it that? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> we will get it, ladies and gentlemen. We I will get that. it. No, that song <laughs> gives me the, that. Uh, tell you that song gives me the creeps. It does? That sweaty old Welshman. <laughs> I'm 43, I'm not sexy. <laughs> I think we can safely say Tom Jones won't be appearing on Jamming. <laughs> OK, anybody else got any ideas? It's, uh, Richard, it's your go. Ain't it funny how we don't talk anymore? Notice how none of the band are picking up their instruments to help out here. Is it that? It's, please, God, don't let it be that. No, it really oh, isn't that. No. <laughs> oh, well done. OK, anyone else? Any last latecomers? Anybody? Um... Be 
that, hasn't it's it? It's gotta be. Is it, is it Crossroads? Uh, I don't think it would have been cancelled if it were, but no, it isn't. All right, then. Come on, put us out of our misery, Mitch. What is it? Look, here it comes. And I can't really sing it, but I'll give it my best shot. Oh, shut up, you bloody self deprecating. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> it's close to midnight. Yes! Something evil's lurking in the dark. <laughs> Under the moonlight You see a sight that almost stops your heart You try to scream But terror takes a sign before you make it You start to freeze As horror looks you right between the eyes You're paralyzed has a style that best suits them. Lemmy is made to sing thrash metal. Celine Dion is made to sing ballads and Avril Lavigne is made to last until the end of October. <laughs> so, what songs will our guests pick? Steve, I'm coming to you first. What song, um, what songs, in fact, are making you hot at the moment? Well, you know, Roland, when you get to my age, yeah. you know, you need a little bit of help in the romantic department. And uh, You know, I always used to like to make love uh, when I had uh, sexual healing playing in the background because uh, it's only two and a half minutes long. <laughs> All right, so that's, uh, that's our sort of genre, is it? Okay, Edwin, over to you. What style of musical performer known for a certain sound are you listening to at the moment? I think my son's in tonight, but I was brushing my teeth this morning and he said he's come to that age 13 and he realises I'm not the macho man he wants me to be. Easily done. And he says, Dad... Why are you brushing your teeth with that pink toothbrush? <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Pink toothbrush. Uncle pink. Max. Max yeah. Bygrave. Max Bygrave. OK, there we go. So we've got okay. some sexually explicit right. Um, right. songs. <laughs> some lover, lover track. Uh, we're bringing Max Bygraves to the table. Fantastic. OK, there is the, the Groove Armada <laughs> one, isn't it? I see you, baby, shaking that ass, shaking that ass, shaking that ass. I see you, baby, shaking that ass, shaking that ass, shaking that ass. Get off at 23 positions in a one night stand. Get off. I only call you after if you say I can. I like them fat, I like them round You gotta be a mother for me, now move your big ass round this way So I can walk on that zipper, baby What are you doing? <laughs> I want to tell you a dirty story <laughs> That's not a pink toothbrush, though, I didn't know <laughs> Shagalore Max. Ah, 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 ah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh, 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 ooh. Relax, don't do it when you want to go to it. Relax, don't do it when you want to come. Relax, oh, when you want to suck it, chew it. Relax with Max. Come, 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 come. <laughs> There you go. Shag along a max. <laughs> All right, Edwin, yeah. you've got the gist of this now, haven't you? I have, yeah. You've sort of seen what we're doing. We're yep. trying to marry two completely yep. different things together. Um, All right. For, so, for, uh, I suppose an artist I've been listening to then is Neil Young. Great. Right, yeah, nice, yeah, good. Uh, and Steve, is there one song that means a lot to you at the moment? Well, I, I, you know, I'll tell you who I think very underrated musical artists we know them better as Ant and Deck, but as PJ and Duncan, they did have quite a, a repertoire of rather 
overlooked um, songs. All right, so um, what, what are we looking at? What are their tracks? Let's yeah. Get Ready to Rumble. Oh, oh, classic. Classic. Yeah. A classic. Oh, uh, you you want me to do Let's Get Ready to Rumble in the style of Neil Young? If you would. Yeah. What? What? You can't handle it? <laughs> All right, I'll rise to your challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to incapacitate in a Vulcan nerve pinch of styles until it collapses, gasping in submission like Star Trek Episode 4 Series 2, City on the Edge of Forever. Was it Episode 4 Series 2? I forget. It's the one with John Collins in anyway. I think it won a Hugo Award. Um, no, tell a lie. That was Series 2, the manager. Okay, let's just fade his yeah. mic down. Um, I knew he was going to do this. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Radiohead are okay, but they can be a bit relentlessly miserable. And uh, sometimes I just feel it would be nice if Radiohead sang something a bit more cheerful. So let's let's give this a shot. Edwin, you want to start with this? Just start in A. Right. One, two, two, two. Here's a little song I wrote. Might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Every life there is some trouble When you worry, you make a double down one Stars do the most unusual things. I've seen Bonnie Tyler belly dance, Tom York juggle burning coconuts. Um, I've even seen Victoria Beckham sing. It was the only way we could get rid of the stragglers. Uh, but now <laughs> we are going to let our guests show us their party pieces. So, Steve, over to you. I've kind of noticed, uh, I mean, we're famous, aren't we, the British, really? If someone has a bit of success <clears throat> and they earn a bit of money and they do, you know, kind of well for themselves, get a bit of fame. As soon as they get like that, we can't wait. You can't wait to knock them down. I'm looking forward to that emotion. And I'm just the same. And to that end, I was, uh, I was thinking, Ben Elton. 
no more books, please. I haven't read all the others yet. Just stop. Give us a chance to catch up. And the same thing with the musicals. He's churning them out, you know. He is. Um, and he's got one coming out about Rod Stewart. Yeah. Okay. Tonight's obviously not the night, though, is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Tonight is not the night, but uh, it is the night when I, I'd like to uh, maybe do some work, uh, if you'd indulge me, on uh, my new musical that uh, I'm working on. It's uh, Ben Elton, the musical. Ben Elton, the musical, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, have you noticed how the mental man always sits next to you on the bus and your girlfriend nags you when it's a time of the month? My name's Ben Elton. Good night. Okay, well, we go on a bit. And uh, he said he's topping the bill. See, Benji. <laughs> a little bit of politics. <laughs> a little bit of politics. A little bit of politics. And an old gag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, next thing is that he, he follows up with a massive success of uh, Blackadder. Blackadder is hilarious, your eyes you'll soon be whitening. Richard Curtis writes the jokes, I do the coffee and typing. And an old gaze. Okay, and then, and I think the whole thing ends with a whole cast on stage, right? As he has a triumphant first night of uh, We Will Rock You. So come and see my musical on Queen. The biggest hits on stage you've ever seen It really, really funny A socialist with so much money Yes indeed it is obscene It's obscene, it's obscene, it's obscene, it's obscene, it's obscene I've been Ben Elton, good night, it's obscene Now Edwin, before a girl like you, there was orange juice, wasn't yep. there? Yeah. But you did have a smash hit, namely yes. Rip It Up, mm -hmm. which we'd like um, you to perform with us, if that's OK. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. But we would like to change it a little, with your permission. I'm going to ask um, a band member uh, for random words, which I would like you to insert into uh, the world-famous Rip It Up song. Steve, have you, have you got a, a word that we're going to include in, in well, I, the song? Well, the test is mental and see if you can fit the word donkey into it. OK, we've got donkey, that's one word. See we want that in your right, song. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mitch, have you got a word for him? Tortoise. Tortoise? Oh, no. Okay, donkey, tortoise. There's an animal thing yeah, coming. Yeah, which yeah. I think I, I, I could possibly do it. Okay, uh, what about Richard? What, what have you got? Well, this might be two words, but um, bum fluff. <laughs> bum fluff, and I'm going to go with uh, four words. It is weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> All right, how does it go? Um. <laughs> ah, I remember it. I lost my tortoise while in hibernation My donkey, he got chronic constipation A fan of laxatives, there was a huge eruption The tortoise shot out like a weapon of mass destruction yeah. I hope to God that stand up on your shoulder pads I hope it isn't Bump fluff. Yeah, he did it! He got it all in! Where everybody knows your name Cheers! And you can't believe you can Cheers! One of the most vital things for a singer is to be able to communicate with their audience so it really feels like they can build up a relationship. I remember, after being a fan of Axl Rose for many years, that marvellous moment when I saw him. Um, he edged closer to me, looked me in the eye and said, Hello, Wembley! Are you ready to rock? <laughs> I even remember the first time he asked to uh, see my hands. 
and uh, <laughs> then personally mentioned uh, that he was selling some of his clothes in the foyer. <laughs> now we're going to ask the audience to help us out by shouting out some words. Uh, when we hear them, we'll play a song uh, that includes that word. Um, let's, uh, let's see if we can get a 100% success rate uh, this, this, this time around. Last time we didn't really do it. Um, <coughs> we went away with our heads um, firmly between our legs. And that was slightly more fun than the show. <laughs> thunder. Pardon? Thunder. Thunder. It's like thunder. Lightning. Oh. Good, good. It's, it's like thunder. thunder. Oh. Lightning. The way it up me is right there. I think I'm better not. Ooh, on oh, wood. wood. No, stop the whole oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Chips. 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 There's Go on, G. G. There's a bloke works down our chip shop, swears he's Elvis. Yeah. Um, chip, she said it, chip shop, yes, we've done it. Chip, chip shop. shop, yeah, yeah. Chip Fish. shop. Yeah. Okay, sorry? Fish. 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 There's a bloke works down our <laughs> fish and chip <laughs> shop, thinks he's Elvis. <laughs> okay, two for the price of one, that should have been you, Richard, but it wasn't. Quickly moving on. Honey. Honey. A sugar, sugar, da, 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 da. Oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me here wanting you. Da, 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 da. I just can't believe the loveliness of loving you. Stop! I just can't believe it. Stop! I like that song. Anybody else got a word? Come on, we've got to beat this. Horse! Horse! Oh, Anybody yeah, got an idea for horse? Oh, uh, yeah. It felt good to be out of the rain. There you go. Just go round on that. Well, frankly, we spent. So that brings us to the end of another show. There's been tears and laughter, though hopefully the tears would have been edited out of the show that goes out on the radio. I hope I've left you with a song in your heart, a shadow on your lung, and a chill in your kidneys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Steve Brown and Edwin Collins. <laughs> and of course, Richard Branch and Mitch Ben. <laughs> I'm Roman Brimron, and you are my first, last, my always, and any other prepositions you care to think of. So it just remains for us to leave you with the song we enjoyed playing most in today's show. And I think I have no doubts when I say it's something to do with Steve, is it? The song we like the most, ladies and gentlemen, voted by us, the musicians. Yes! Jammin was hosted by Roland Riveron with Richard Vranch, Mitch Benn, Edwin Collins and Steve Brown. The programme associates were Robin Ince and Dave Cohen and the producer was Will Saunders. This week, Jammin was brought to you in association with the theme from Cheers. Walking on gay, walking on gay.